very new discussion in Lithuania and uh, still kind of provoking because uh, um, a lot of society people are thinking that uh, um, okay, some women didn't get awards, so now she's shouting that it's an equality here. Um, but I think it's a bigger issue in our mentality, whom do we appreciate more? Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of a lot of questions and uh, just now they are rising. And uh, as an assistant professor at uh, Lithuanian Music and Theatre Academy, I do notice that uh, after teaching 10 years, uh, luckily, we started to talk more freedomly about LGBT plus topics, for instance, talking about the biographies of the playwrights and so on, who are homosexuals or bisexuals, you know, or non-binary thinking. It's more well accepted among the, uh, let's say, actor students, director students, theatre director students, than when we do start to talk about uh, gender equality topics or feminism. It gets more rejection. And I wonder why, because it's also very, very important and very old question. Mm -hmm. uh, the more I was going to the professional stage as a playwright, um, the more I started to notice uh, differences and small details and sometimes even um, bigger uh, injustices towards uh, uh, gender questions, for instance, we have many men directors and quite a lot female directors now, I would say. Uh, but uh, mostly men directors are um, evaluated, awarded. Uh, it means getting rehearsed in the bigger halls, getting more audience, more attention and so on. And only after one scandal a few years ago about uh, the fact that uh, um, none of the directors, women directors, were awarded in the last 10 years. Uh, one woman, Jana Ross, a wonderful theatre director, got the Golden Christ Cross, which is the main uh, award in Lithuania, but it was only after the scandal. And if we look at the national awards, it's like, you know, out of a hundred nominants, it's like eight or seven women. So I think it's very meaningful numbers because it means that uh, uh, in some kind of society there is a thought that perhaps only 7 or 6 percent or 8 percent of female artists are talented when the majority is kind of uh, male artist supposed to be talented or what. One of the last plays was about female basketball team uh, called Jalgires. Uh, and it touches many questions about freedom to give birth or not to give. Of course, you know, this is a very practical question about abortions all over the world, I guess. And um, so the majority actors are female. In that play, uh, also a lot of LGBT plus topics and freedom and uh, freedom of speech, freedom of behavior. Um, in a way, it's uh, intolerant towards men, I would say, because there are many nasty jokes in that play about men. Uh, but also, as an author, I do say that I don't mean that all the men are bad or whatever. It's just that um, we also can make jokes about, you know, inequality, about some things which are meant to be kind of without questioning, you know, uh, who washes dishes or who is more smart or who is... Uh, stronger or uh, can you flirt in the cafe just seeing any woman sitting at the table next you know to somebody and so on and so on very simple questions I am approaching it to uh, I'm approaching it with a humor I guess and people are laughing a lot but uh, when they leave the theater hall uh, they start to think okay but what I was laughing at you know what are these questions mm -hmm.